So in this one, we're going to look at how to um, do this, right? So we're going to, one, convert the shape into a circle, and then I'm going to show you how to make the text kind of move around this image. Now, it's not always the best way to do it. I'm going to show you a couple ways that you could do it, maybe a way that you could do it without that to get less of an even arc, but let's say you want that and do that and show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing is let's go ahead and convert this into a circle. Oh, it didn't do that. Um, Easily, so we're just going to change this to be four by four, and we're just going to write. So now we're going to fill that. So do Command Option Shift C, or go ahead and click this button. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is um, has the, what's it's called a text wrap, right? So we need to go get that. So it's a window text wrap brings up the text wrap palette. And so you have a couple options in here. So this first one says no text wrap. Um, the second one says wrap around the box. So you can see it, it's going around the box shape. But this one is the one where it wraps around the object, right? And you can say, all right, we'll wrap around like that. Wrap around both sides or just right side. So what that would do is just Um, if you change that to both sides, well, in this case, it's not really doing it, but you, you can you can make some changes to that. Um, this will jump the object. So for example, if this was smaller, you can see how it goes top to bottom. And this will just, right, kind of just take take that away, which is you don't really want to do. Um, so it's either this jump or or this, right? So you could put it in the center, but again, um, you know, we talked about some of this stuff with type. Does is that really the best look? No, but I just want to show you that you can kind of do that. Another way that you could do this without having the text wrap. Let's do no text wrap. Is it's actually it's actually more of a manual process. It's going through and kind of spacing this out by itself, right? So let's say we space it here. You're going to have to enter in a manual return, but not. You're going to have to do shift return and then space it out, right? So I could go through this and I could do something that's more organic um, and less, less of a structure, right? So that's just a way that you could go through and do something if you wanted it there, but maybe um, you didn't want it so uniform, right? Um, so that's the way to use TextRap. 